Hello guys, it's Shex and you're welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be doing another script tutorial and in this video I'm going to be teaching you how to create custom menus and do stuff related to that. And so my last episode did okay. I mean it's not like my most popular video or anything uh, and a lot of people did ask for a part two. So this is going to be the part two. It came right after the, the first one. Totally didn't take me a long time to do it. And so let's get started. So what you want to do first is you want to go on your server. I'm going to be using Minehut because it's free and I don't want to make a server just for doing t simple tutorials. Okay, so first you're obviously going to need script for doing script tutorials. And so you're also going to need SK Query right here. I already have installed it as a bunch of features. It's on Minehut if you want it. And you can install it pretty easily. They have like a big website and stuff. It's pretty much the best like add-on to script. So definitely recommend get it. I also have a bunch of other add-ons, but you don't actually need them for this tutorial. You just need SK Query. So now that you have like script and all stuff, you want to go to your file manager. You want to go to plugins, script, uh, which should be S. Yes. Okay. Scripts again. And then you want to click new file. And we're going to call this custom menu.sk. It's going to be a menu slash GUI, that type of thing. Okay. So we're going to go in here. And so now that we have your script created, we can start uh, with creating our menu. So we're going to make it so when you run a command, it opens our menu. Uh, you can also do it so when you right click an item, it opens it. And I'll, I'll show you how to do that later. Um, if I could type correctly, uh, we got this um, alias just slash m so we can make it really easy. Uh, trigger. And then what you want to do is you want to do wait one tick. And then you want to go back open chest with three rows named menu to player and so what this does is it waits a tick which allows you to do multiple menus if you don't have this way to tip one tick it will actually just close the menu and you won't have anything in it so it won't actually work if you have multiple menus so you do need this wait one tick and then it opens a chest uh, which is just I mean the th thing you can do like draw for and stuff I don't really know why you would want to do that so chest with three rows that's like how many GUI rows so three would be 27 slots uh, just a normal chest uh, named menu you can make this colored um, like by using the and C and B stuff like that and then it opens it to the player and the player is that person who ran the command also this is four spaces and two spaces uh, just making sure we're all on the same page you know what I mean uh, and then next wait one tick and this allows the game to open up the menu before setting the items in it and I type that perfectly and flawlessly so we're good on here uh, you can put it one like without this space right here but I have it just so you can see the different sections of the code so format slot and we're gonna do slot 0 which is the first one it, it starts with 0 and goes up to 26 we have this so there's 27 slots but it starts at 0 so it ends at 26 so you want to format it and so we're gonna format it with a diamond so right now it's just a diamond and that's that's not very useful so we're gonna uh, do a bunch of stuff to it to change it around and make it actually functional so we're going to make it a shiny diamond, and that makes it glow like it has an enchantment. And so we're, we're just going to be adding everything. So you can use this or you not use it. You know, you don't always want it to be a shiny diamond. You could just do a normal diamond if you really want to. Uh, that's, that's the good thing about script. You can make it whatever you want. And so it's going to be a shiny diamond, and then named. And you can name it whatever you want. You can use color codes and everything. And that is what the item name will be. And so then you want to add with lore. And this adds the lore of the item, which is the text below the, the name. And so we're going to have the first lore, hi. And then you can add a second line by typing and. And then we can do hello there, uh, sure. And so this will be a diamond that is enchanted. It'll be name subscribe uh, with the aqua color. And then it'll have the lore, hi. And then a the second line of lore that says hello there. And uh, so right now this is purely cosmetic and doesn't actually do anything yet. So we, we're going to make it run commands. So we're going to do two close, which makes this so the GUI closes when you click it. And so most things you want to do will have the GUI like this. And then you want to do then run. And then so you want to do the square bracket and then execute. And so this is where you have to decide if you want it to be a player command or if you want it to be a console command. So I'm going to make it a player command. I'm going to do player command. So instead of player, you can put console there and that'll make it run by the console. And then you want to do uh, quotation marks, slash, and then your command. So I'm going to just make them so the player runs slash spawn. So you can do slash menu. You click the diamond, and then it makes them run 
teleport to spawn. So I guess this would be more appropriate to set the spawn, uh, even though you, sh you should subscribe. Okay, well, we're going to save it, and then we're going to go into the game and see what happens. So we're in the game, so we're going to have to reload the script. And so if you're, you've never used script before, it's script, reload, and then the script name. So our script name is custom menu. And so if we do that, okay, successfully reloaded custom menu, that's a good sign. Uh, so if we do slash menu, okay, we got the menu open. We have the shiny diamond named spawn, and then hi, hello there. And so when I click it, it should close my menu and then teleport me to spawn. It did. Look, I'm at my beautiful spawn. But what if you want to make it do more than teleport you to spawn? What if you want it to give you gold to teleport you to spawn? Maybe give you a potion effect and teleport you up a little bit. Well, we're going to have to do more than just this, obviously. Uh, we can't really add more stuff here. Uh, there's not really a way to do that that I know of. If there is, leave a comment below, and that'll be really, really helpful. Um, no, but so basically we're going to change this to console, and then we're going to make it run the command slash gold. Slash spawn already exists, so I'm going to do slash gold because we're going to be creating a new command to do this. So we're going to do slash gold, and then percent player percent and so this is a placeholder for the player that runs the thing so this will do slash gold and then the player's name who clicked the item and so we're going to go down and we're going to create the new command uh, slash gold and then we're going to make it permission op so only people who click the item in the menu can run this command basically uh, because it makes this that the console does it and then the console has every permission so then we're going to do trigger, which is just the normal thing you do for a command. And so everything under here is what will happen when you use slash gold in the player's name. And wait, we forgot a step. Uh, you want to do player right here. And so this will do slash gold, and then you have to type the player's name. And so you won't actually have to type the player's name because the console command already has the player here. So basically, it will it'll it'll run properly out okay <laughs> it'll do it for the player and so trigger and so what we want to do is we want to give two gold ingot to percent or actually no you don't need to do a percent here it's just arg one okay so arg one is another placeholder and so this is argument one and argument one is via the player and so argument one is what you use you don't use player or it'll do the console because that's what ran the command and it's a little bit confusing sorry if I didn't say it properly but th this should work okay so it gives that and then we're gonna make it execute console command uh, and then let's make it execute slash spawn percent arg one and so you have to use the percents when you're doing it I don't think I mentioned this in this one, but you need to use the percents for the placeholder when it's in the quotation marks. And that makes it so it actually works. Because if you don't put that, it'll just do slash spawn arg-1. It won't actually put the player in there. So we can save it, and then we can go into Minecraft. So we're in Minecraft, and we can reload it. And so it reloads successfully. So if we do slash menu, uh, then we see it right here. And so if you click it, it gives you two gold and teleports the player to spawn. So that worked properly, and everything worked fine. So you can add anything you want here, anything in the script docs, and I'll leave documentations below. And so the SK Unity docs allows you to do basically everything. It has every add-on you can think of, and it has information on every single thing script-related. So you guys should totally check that out. It'll help you add everything. Okay, so we can also add more items up here. Uh, we're just going to add a couple. Um, I'll just give some more examples. Format, slot, uh, let's just do 17. A player with, and let's say, bedrock named, and then and a high, and then we're just going to make it to close the thing. And then so if we save that and then we go in the game, then there should be bedrock to the 17th slot. So we're in the game, uh, we could just do slash menu. And you see right here, we can click it, and it teleports us there. But also, oh, I, I forgot to reload it. Okay, there we reloaded it, and there's also the bedrock here. So that worked all perfectly fine. So you can do any script function or command with using a menu. Uh, just basically follow the steps and put whatever you want under the custom command that you created. 
And so you can add a bunch of custom commands that work for different items in the menu. You can create multiple menus, uh, just basically copying and pasting everything you previously did. And so it's really easy. And so uh, I hope you guys understood this tutorial. And if you did, don't leave a comment below. Uh, and if you didn't, if you have something you want to ask a question about, you can also leave that in a comment. And so like the video if this helped you or if you just enjoyed it. And subscribe if you're new to the channel. And I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.